stay in tune with yourself and your nature and your energy. Be honest with yourself and be open-minded to like where your heart and your spirit and your abilities lead you. A lot of people uh, don't know what parkour is. And so for someone who is just starting up, someone who doesn't have access to a lot of facilities like this, what advice or what uh, tip would you give them to become a professional athlete? Like what, how, what, how should they start their journey or what should they always focus on in your opinion? <sighs> it, there's, there's not an easy answer to it. And I try to hesitate from giving people advice because uh, everyone's journey is different, you know? And everyone's passion is different. And if someone had a, if you have an unquenchable passion, then the answer is just don't stop, right? But maybe you don't have an, maybe you're not a Kobe Bryant, right? Maybe you don't have the talent or you don't have this Mamba mentality and you just want to be, you know, but there, there might be a place for you still. So it, every person's different. You know, um, I, 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 here's what I would say. I would say, Understand yourself and understand whether or not you really love parkour. Because I think what what's easy to get caught up in is wanting to be something rather than wanting to go through what it takes to become that thing. So here's a cool way to phrase it. The person who loves walking will always walk further than the person who loves the destination. And this is what I see in acting, and and I'll even be a little bit. Mm, well, I just to tell you from a parkour perspective. So I love acting. Like the destination is cool. The idea of being a part of really big films, of course, are my goals is what I want to do. But I love acting. I'll act every day. Like I go to acting class because it's fun. I go to auditions. Other actors fret auditions, like oh my gosh, I have an audition, and I'm just like it's another chance to act. I love it. Right there, it's like I love walking. I love acting. I don't think I loved parkour as much as I thought I did. Like I, and, and what's shown by that is when I had time, I built my companies instead of training. And there's other athletes out there that like they have aspirations to make money, but they're just drawn to training all the time. So Joey Adrian's a great example. He's an athlete who has all this potential from a business standpoint. And we, he's a, he's a friend. We've worked with him at Take Flight for years. He was third place in the Red Bull Art of Motion a few years ago like one of the best of his generation. There's an argument that he pioneered flow in a lot of ways, one, or at least he was one of the pioneers of it. So a phenomenal athlete that I think has a place in the, in the history of parkour. And he's never developed anything business-wise. And at the end of the day, when I look at Joey, I think to me, it's very clear why he's never developed the business side of his things. And it's because he loves movement so much that that's what he's dedicated to. And so when he has time, he does that. And when he doesn't have time, he still does that. And when he's tired, he still does that because he loves it. And it's, it's in him and you can see it in his movement and you can see it in his progression. It's very clear. You know, me, when I had time, I built companies. And so I really liked parkour. There's no doubt it's a top four or five passion in my life, but it wasn't a top one passion of my life, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's easy to see parkour and say, I want to be that. And the thing is, though, is to get there, you're probably going to need to train every day for the next six years or something and risk injury and go through the ups and downs and make an awesome video that nobody cares about, even though it's worth watching and and training alone because your friends don't want to train and, you know, having the most. It's like, can you go through that struggle? And the only way you're going to go through that struggle is if you really love it. And the only way you're going to find if you love it is to do it and to go through that. So it's a part, it's a discovery process. But my advice would be simply to be attuned to that and don't lie to yourself and to try to understand how much do I really like this? And if you find that you're really on fire for it, then that's awesome and go with it. But if you're not, that's okay too. Like you can just become, you can become an Adam Dunlap who like he does quality jumps. His technique is solid. Uh, he enjoys the movement. He's strong and flexible and agile and confident because of it, but he didn't become world-class. That's okay too. So stay in tune with yourself 
in your nature and your energy, be honest with yourself and uh, and be open-minded to like where your heart and your spirit and your abilities lead you. And maybe uh, focus on the path rather than focusing on the destination and that'll get you where you need to be.